Hi there. Welcome to Whiskey and Sunshine Off Grid. He's Scott. And she's Shelly. <laughs> Did I screw you up? <laughs> A little. That's okay. Oh, that's all right. Today we're going to be tapping some maple trees. So uh, put on your rubber boots and uh, come along with us. Disclaimer guys, this is our very first time doing this, so if we're doing something wrong, let us know down in the comments, but uh, this is how we know how to do it. So uh, we are taking a drill bit that has tape on it about two inches down, and we drill into the tree up to that piece of tape in an upward angle, so we know we've gone into the tree about two inches and we pull it out and then we're going to put in the spile or spigot and we're tapping it in with a rubber mallet. These are plastic ones. Got a little hook down at the bottom. We let it drip for a second. Clean out the bucket. Very important stuff here and take a taste. See what it tastes like <laughs> right out of the spile. <laughs> You know, you just got to do it. I've never tried it like that before out of the tree. It's pretty neat. So you hang the bucket right there on that little hanger. And this green thing here is the lid. And it has a little wire in the back that you just turn and pull it out. And then there's a hole in the back of the spile that you run that wire through. And then put it in there and lock it down and you're good to go. That is all there is to it for that part anyway. Okay, well that was a lot of work. That was a lot of work. That snow is soft and the spots that are deep and wow. It's just uh, it's just hard enough so that it will almost hold you up and then you drop through all the way to your knees. So it's, it's not good walking in the woods. No. Probably should have broke out the snowshoes. Yeah. But another week or so, I don't imagine we'll have that problem. Hopefully but. not. I'm happy. We got 10 buckets out there, and I tried some, as you saw, 
what it tastes like. I don't know. It didn't taste like water, though. It looks like water, but it didn't taste like water. It had a little bit of a flavor to it. Just a tiny, not really sweet, but I don't know. Can't explain it. I've but. heard it mentioned that some people are wondering why the anybody in the naturalist tippy movement or whatever, or I don't know what you want to call it, Whole Foods maybe, I don't know, why they haven't uh, come to the conclusion that maybe somebody would like to have some of the sap right out of the tree and then maybe carbonate it and make a beverage out of that instead of making maple syrup out of it. Yeah. You never know. That could be a hell of a business opportunity for somebody. Hey, we could try that. Good. We could try it. Why not? Maybe good with whiskey. <laughs> Who needs carbonation when you can add whiskey? That's right. So anyway, thanks for coming along with us on this beautiful afternoon. Ooh, gorgeous. Sure looks like spring. I hope it is, but it's only, uh, what are we into, the second week of March? So I doubt, I doubt we're done yet. Right. Maybe, maybe. Cross fingers. Well, we did get lucky and we didn't find, uh, we didn't have to go too, too far for, to find the maples. They were fairly close together. We've never had property with maples on them that we could... Uh, could do this so Scott mentioned he wanted to do it so it's pretty cool it's pretty cool to run that that uh, drill in and have it just start dripping it was, it yeah. was really neat yeah almost every time we drilled a hole by the time we got into the yep. the last quarter inch or so it was actually wet yeah. the dust sawdust coming out was actually wet yep. soaking wet cool. so I, I know that I don't know if you noticed or not but I, I let it run for a few minutes let a few of the drops come out to try to clear the rest of the sawdust and stuff out of the hole. Because, I mean, I, I, I don't think we're going to miss those few extra drops. And uh, we'll have to check these in a day or two and see what we get. So we'll take you along. Yeah. And Won't uh, be too long. We'll be cooking it. That'll be fun. Yeah, we'll be using our new new cooker. That's right. Yeah. All right. Nothing... Nothing says springtime like being outside next to a fire, having a few drinks. Yeah, that's right. That'll be fun. Sure will. So stay tuned. All right. Thanks, guys. See you later. Keep coming back. Sub subscribe. Yep. Slub lub. Slub lub lub. <laughs> Whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Peace out. Edit. <laughs>